So, in the last post, um, we installed and compiled Apache from the source, um, uh, but it seems we are not able to uh, start the service uh, Apache service using service HTTPD start. Uh, we have to use the default uh, service script user local Apache to bin Apache CTL uh, start. Uh, if you check the processes, oh yeah, so see it is all started. Now, uh, if you stop it using the script, the default script, uh, yeah, it stopped. Uh, same thing if we do with uh, services HTTP start. Nope, won't start. See, no processes. So we got to edit etc rc dot d init dot d http d. That is where uh, RC, inside the rc dot d all the service level scripts will be there. So you got to check out the uh, Apache CTL and httpd variables. You have to update or edit the uh, line. I've copied it uh, above those lines. See Apache CTL user local Apache 2 bin Apache CTL and httpd user local Apache 2 bin http. These are the a proper path to the uh, services. So and make sure uh, you have the config file path uh, properly updated. Use the local Apache tool conf httpd.conf. Save it and close and try to start the service using service httpd start. See it started. Check the. Okay, let's stop it. Stopped and status stopped. Okay, let's check the processes. Okay, let's restart and then check the process. See, it is all started. Apache started using service HTTPD start. Or restart. Now we have to include it in chk config so that it starts, you know, uh, at the boot time automatically. HTTP is not included. We have to add HTTPD to the service level. Uh, chk config, add HTTPD, and then if you list, you see uh, everything is uh, turned off, so it won't start uh, start automatically. We have to. Uh, enable it using chk config level two three four five or probably four two three four uh, uh, httpd on that's it and if you check if you list httpd there you go you see two three four is turned on it was off before it now turn on. So you have enable service Apache when HTTPD start and stop. That's it. Thank you. Bye.